Hi everyone, in this video I want to explain to you the logic of the samba rhythms. They are different rhythms, or we can say clave, uh, that are used in samba. There is mostly one that is extremely common and some variations that are possible, but it always stays on the same idea that I am going to explain in this video. So, the very common samba rhythm is this one, two, one, two. If I only play the accent, it goes like this one, two, one, two. So instead of explaining step by step this rhythm, which is a thing that I did in one or two other videos in English, one of them in French, but oh, one or two in English too, I'm not going to take this path in this video. I'm going to explain you, explain this rhythm in a different way, and it I think it's a better way to understand the logic of this rhythm. So, in this rhythm we have mainly it's a mix of two different feels. The first feel is the notes played on the, I would say on the beat, but it's on the one, on the first and the third sixteenth note. So, one, two, three, four, in tin, it's one, two, three, four, tin, 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 tin. If I talk in one e and a, one e and a, two e and a, two, it goes like. One and one and one and one and well, one and two and one and two and so it's the first feel, and the second feel is on the second and the fourth sixteenth note. So it's one e and a, uh, e a. Uh. So it's one two one e a uh, 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 e a. Uh. One two four two four two four three four. Can't, 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 can't. So it's the second feel that feels upbeat, I think. I don't know if it's the right word, but the first one is ting, 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 ting. Second one is ting, 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 ting. It's important to be able to to um, play these rhythms and to feel them accurately if you want to be able to to feel. Um, the samba rhythms and to understand the logic of it. So here is how the the different samba rhythms are built. It's a mix of the first feel and the second feel. But the thing is that when you take the um, the pattern of the samba, it start well the yeah, it start with a bit of upbeat feel then some uh, downbeat feel, I would say, and then some upbeat feel that keeps on to the first notes of the beginning of the pattern. So it's like um, upbeat, downbeat, upbeat, it keeps on the upbeat, and then it... So, and with a drawing, I think it's easier to understand, and you had a drawing on this video, it's much better much better way to, to explain it with a drawing. Uh, so when I do the rhythm, the samba rhythm, the most famous one that is usually called Partido Alto, um, it's a very specific rhythm and it goes like this. One, two, one, two, one, ta, 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 so the tkin, it starts on the a beat and then ta 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 on the down beat and then ta ta and then I go back to the beginning ta 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 ta. It's very important to understand this. Very often the samba rhythm is understood and played the wrong way, which is at the middle of this pattern. I don't know why, but many people that are not from Brazil usually think that it's 
on the on the middle of this pattern that the the pattern starts because it's much easier because we start on the beat we start tan tan uh, well tan 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 no it's not this is three four tan tun 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 and you can hear if you're used to listening to samba you can hear the cuica which does this sound you can hear it one two one two with variations i hope i do the cuica <laughs> well enough if i do this rhythm with a pandeiro with this so it, it it will go like this one two one two one So you have to be able to feel this rhythm and keep the tempo at the same time. It's not that easy, it's pretty difficult. And I have a few samba backing tracks that you can find on my YouTube channel. You can um, play them and you can see the rhythms, you can see the accents and you can hear the sourdo who does the one, two, one, two. and. You can try to keep track of the time while you listen to the All right. This is one rhythm. This is the this is the rhythm that is clearly the mo most common and that is played in almost every samba songs. But there are some variations, but these variations they keep the same logic. Basically, the two variations you will find is the moment where it's where it switches to the from the upbeat to the downbeat and from the downbeat to the upbeat feels it can be earlier or later the very common first variation is not to do tken, uh, not to do just one note and then go to the downbeat feel but to do two notes so it will do it will be one two ton 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 So it is the same idea, but just a bit moved from half of a beat. But it's exactly the same idea, just that it's not exactly at the same place. The switching from the upbeat to the downbeat and from the downbeat to the upbeat. Okay, so this was the second famous rhythm, samba rhythm. And maybe there are other ones, a third one, for example. I'm not sure it's commonly used, but it's if you... A squeeze the so you have um, three hits on the upbeat and four on the downbeat. But if you inverse it, so you do uh, four on the upbeat and three on the downbeat, you have two at the beginning, ting, ting, one, two, three on the downbeat, and then one, two, one, two, so one, two, three, four. So it goes like this one, two, king, king, ton, ton, ton. I'm not sure I've already heard that rhythm, so I'm suggesting this rhythm in a more or less theoretical way, because it, it's a rhythm that has still has this samba feel. Maybe it's used in some songs. I'm not sure about it because I didn't find any I didn't transcribe any song that has this rhythm. Maybe I will find some before I publish this video, but okay, this third one, third one is a variation that I never kind of really heard. But it's the, the idea of the samba rhythm is this, alternating from the upbeat to the downbeat. And the switching is not at the beginning of the pattern, it's somewhere that makes it tricky to play. What I find really interesting, and I think the... Um, the main, um, the things that works really well with this rhythm is that in the pattern you have some alternating with tension and resolution. The upbeat feel is kind of a tension and the resolution is uh, the downbeat. So you have, an al uh, you alternate between these two things, tension, resolution, and you do it in a, in a way that is a bit tricky, as I said, because it doesn't start 
on the the switch is not on the beginning of the pattern and i think that's what gives it rhythm such a great feel and you know it you never want it to to stop in fact i think that's the idea of the pattern in the description you will have links of songs where you can find this pattern um a lot of like uh, hundreds of songs thousands of songs you will find this pattern almost any samba song um and be aware of this when songs um, samba song they can start on the beginning of the pattern but on the first beat of the song um, the musicians percussions or uh, guitar cavaquinho they play on the beat and then at the end of the pattern they switch to the normal pattern so it goes like three four ting 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 so at the beginning it's easy it's ting 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 and then it's it's really starts what's also possible something that paulino da viola does a lot um he's a great singer a great composer he plays um, guitar he plays cavaquinho he's something that someone that's very famous a very very famous samba um, composer what he likes to do is to, to start the song on the middle of the pattern. And if you are not very focused and you don't really try to understand when the singing starts, you think that it's the first bar and that the whole song is based on that pattern inverted, started on the middle of the pattern. But no, because the introduction has an odd number of bars. Well, the singing starts on the beginning of the real pattern that I that I showed you. So, what the the introduction of some songs? They are like three, four, ting ting, tung tung ting, tung tung ting ting. So you may think it's oh, ting ting, tung tung ting, ting 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 ting, tung tung ting. But it's the singing gives you uh, the moment where it starts so it's ting ting tung 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 ting 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 tung samba so i started on the beginning of the um, of the, the real beginning of the pattern so it can be very tricky and maybe that's why some people don't understand that the samba um the samba pattern is built like i showed you and not the opposite i hope you like this video uh, please uh, put a thumb up if you learned something, please subscribe, write a comment if you have any question, please ask them. I really hope that I helped you understand this music better. It's difficult to understand this music uh, because, well, because most of Brazilian uh, musicians who plays it very well um, have... Um, a way of teaching that is mostly based on the feeling and when you didn't grow in Brazil, when you didn't grow up in Brazil and you are not very used to that music, it's really difficult to to feel it. And I, I grew up in France and I didn't hear that rhythm at all during my whole life. So it was kind of tricky for me to understand it. So I really hope that it helped you. See you in another video.